Wedding baby with an adorable <laughs> DIY like magic it. wand by the number one dad, our DIY wizard, oh, Ken Wingard. Number one dad. Yeah. Amazing. Oh. And, you know, for me, I learned about wands through Harry Potter, like yeah. so many people. The popularity seemed to explode after that series came out. Yeah, it is. And funny enough, the reason why I'm making it is not due to that. Um, we have this, this history of Halloween costumes in the family. And one kid, usually it's Coco, gets to pick our Halloween costume as a group. Like, oh. I think we have photos. The first year she picked it, we were all like, uh, this fairies? is last year, we were all woodland fairies. Oh, that oh, was the, a good costume. 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 I thought that was just a. No, this is Hol this make those? Halloween. That's yes, I made those. Uh, and then the year before that, we oh were butterflies. God. But the twins were too young, so she said the twins had to be caterpillars because they weren't old enough oh, to be so butterflies. You're kidding. Right. So this is inspired by your Halloween costume this, this year. This year, Margot would be... said she wants to be a witch. So we're all being witches and wizards. So I, of course, wanted to go. It's like, oh, Harry Potter makes those great magic wands. Yeah. They are like 50, 60 bucks I know. a piece. Uh, they're it's, not cheap. They're very expensive. I'm not buying that for like a three-year-old. No. Yeah. So no. I'm making my own. So how do we get started? So it's very simple. The key here is this, which is a floral light, and it's a submersible floral light. It'll cost you about six bucks. This is to make it light up. And basically, it's these wires with these five little bulbs, and you turn it on and off right here at the bottom. So you're gonna start with that. And then what you're gonna do is just get a piece of duct tape and you're just gonna put it, roll the duct tape over because you need to sort of build up a little bit of um, girth. A little thickness. Right. Why and are I also, you wearing I, the blue glove? Well, that's <laughs> the whole Michael Jackson thing. <laughs> no, I, I'm about to use plaster and I've decided I'm not gonna get my hands completely okay, dirty every single time you know. I make a wand. Right. So once you do that, then you're just gonna get a plain old piece of printer paper, lay it diagonally and just roll that up. And you know you could use a dowel or a stick, but because there's a little kids using this, and they're going to be running around. You don't around. want it yeah. to be a weapon. I exactly. didn't want anything right. that was going to be um, sharp or rough. So just roll that up there, and then get a second piece of tape, and just tape that shut. Smart. Right. Then all you're going to do, get a pair of scissors, trim off some extra here. So now you've got your basic form. Pretty simple. Now, the next thing, the next key is plaster wrap. It's about seven bucks for a bag of it. You can make probably 10 wands out of a bag. Mm -hmm. And it's this sort of mesh. I've used it before. I used this for Easter eggs a few years ago. And it's plaster on like a fabric mesh. Mm -hmm. And all you do is get it, sorry, Debbie, That's dip okay. it in water. Hence the glove. Hence mm -hmm. the glove. Oh, I like it. And it basically oh. becomes plaster. And then all you're gonna do is take it around your wand and you're just going to drape it. It's basically like what they used to make. You know, mummies. Or casts. <laughs> or casts. <laughs> or casts. Cast or mummies. You know, both one of the other clear It's Halloween <laughs> stuff. Mummies. Oh, good point. Good point. Good point. Yeah. But you uh, probably wouldn't want to use this on your body. You, no. Probably. No. Let's go with let's probably just say, not. Probably, not. probably not absolutely not. Um, and no. then you're just going to wrap it all the way around. It's very easy. And then what happens with it is once you get it on, then you're just going to use your finger and you, the plaster comes out and you that. smooth it all over the actual mesh. So the mesh disappears. Wow. It's gonna have this little plastic ring on the end, so you're gonna wanna get a second little piece. Details. Dip that I in. Love it. My kids are very picky. They'll be like, witches don't use from? plastic. <laughs> Where do they get that from exactly? What do you do with the Halloween costumes every year when you're done? Because those are pretty interesting. We keep them. I was you gonna never say know you when should. you need to be a woodland fairy or a monarch <laughs> butterfly. Especially on so, this show. Exactly. It could actually be tomorrow for all you know. <laughs> exactly. So let that dry. And when that dries, you're basically going to have this. And, you know, it's, it's solid now. Let's see? Oh. And now to get the, oh. to get the decoration, oh, wow. what you're going to do is just get hot glue and I did vines on one, and all you do is go all over it and create your pattern. Once that, that hot glue dries, here I did like a handle, all you do is just go over it with regular craft paint. So the glue is actually what the vine was. Exactly. Yeah. And not only can you do vines, so I did vines, if you look on the table, some in gold, I went back and painted some green, but for Coco and Margos, what I also did is I went back and I did their letters on each one, which you can just do with a little gold, oh my a little gold paint. So that's gonna be Coco's. I have Margo's right here. So which you, I mean, this, has this would really it. be probably 30 minutes you could do this. Right, like 30 minutes, and seriously, it cost about $5 You're per kidding. magic wand. Oh, yeah. And you turn the little bottom, and voila. Well, Wingardium Leviosa. See, you do know it.